No, nah, he'll find a way to fuck it up and like win. He'll bad news bear it into a Speaking victory. of which, Colin Kaepernick is an 81 overall in Madden. Is that a touchdown or a turnover, Kenny? That's a touchdown with a black uh with a black panther fist celebration in Madden. Uh and it's interesting that they did that like cuz it's fair like he Bruh. was around 80 the last time we saw him. He wasn't the best, Bruh. but he wasn't the worst. Bro, this but is also, a blocked punt. Madden. Returned for a touchdown. Don't, stripped at the one-yard line. Don't get me Take started. him back to the 90 and then stripped again. I'm traumatized. This is like four turnovers stop? and one fucking thing. Can you how the fuck... Two left. How the fuck do you not make a not right play, if you go around the corner enough How times? do you not play for four seasons or three seasons or whatever and you get a better rating? First of all, two words. Second of all, two words. Wait, I'm not done. I'm I wasn't not done. done. I'm not done. Second of all, how is he better than Kyler Murray? Which is the point you brought up earlier. I'm about to get to that again. And worst of all, fuck Madden because they're like, oh, we're gonna take Colin Kaepernick out. Oh, psych. Black, Black Lives Sean. Matter now. Let's put big. Let's put EA. Colin Kaepernick into the fucking game. It's EA. Whatever. By the NFL. That shit is corny as fuck. Like. You points. don't have every free agent in the game. Fine. That was your excuse before. But now you want to make room for Colin Kaepernick? That's fucking corny, bro. Period. And you're going to give him a trivial B grade? Like, oh, here's that hood-ass kid that I like. I'm going to give him a B, even though he's probably a C student. Like, bro, don't trivialize that man's that work. Everybody in college. Give him, like, your, give him, hood. Are give him, you, are you, per, yeah, he really I'm not saying he's hood, but I'm just hood. saying in general, like, you're just, you're just giving somebody a grade because, like, you like them. You're not giving them a grade because of their actual work. Give that man a fucking 73, 72, and call it a fucking day. Wow. Um, okay, here's why everything you just said is wrong. First off, like if his team chemistry goes up and he's in the right team, then yeah, I could see him being an eighty-one. But don't put him as an outright flat eighty-one. He's, he's not better, than, better Derek than Derek Carr, bro. He is better than Derek. He's Carr. not better than Derek Carr, and uh, I don't even like Derek Carr. But go ahead. His best, Derek Carr never led a team to a Super Bowl. I'm just saying. Neither did Colin Kaepernick. He just finished off a Super Bowl. Their run. Their offense literally was dead in the water with Alex Smith. But that's they a whole other story. They were still a playoff team. Whole other story. They were still a playoff team. That's true, but they weren't a Super Bowl team. Their offense was a dangerous threat. He owns the playoff rushing record. I need you to stop dragging Alex Smith when it's convenient, and then propping that man up when you feel like it. <laughs> I mean, you really need to stop doing that, bro. It kind of works when it you works. Need to stop doing that, bro. It works when it works. <laughs> like, hey, because you, hey. I took that joke about my foot on the chin. It was funny. It's still funny. I'm going to laugh about it when I get home. And then my foot's going to hurt. You're going to print it on your wall? No. My screensaver, though. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard my foot cracking. You just All right, it. finish up this call. Well, here's why. Here's why. Madden is trash for ratings in general. Um, how do you explain the dude winning rookie, a guy winning rookie of the year, offensive rookie of the year, but he is a 77 the next year. He was worse this year coming into Madden than he was last year. So they fucked up the ratings, and then they didn't cross. Clearly somebody who doesn't know culture didn't cross-check or cross-reference anything on Madden because it would have been okay to make him a baseline 81, Kaepernick. But then you have to lift everybody else up who's actually been playing and is better than him, and they didn't do that. They talked about lifting every uh, lifting every boat, but they didn't. So they really just shot themselves in the foot with their shitty ratings. And now it's coming back on them because they tried to do something um, pro-activist and, you know, pro-social justice. But then we realized, oh, yeah, you're also still stupid, Madden. So not only are you stupid, but you botched two things at once. Like, congratulations. You're you're dumb. God damn it. Cam Newton's a fucking 78. Yeah. That's a fucking joke. How did you not know that? It's a fucking... This is a fucking joke. It was a joke that he's a 78 in general. How are you going to tell me? He wasn't a 78 when he got You're going to look me in the fucking eye and tell me Colin Kaepernick is better than Cam Newton I would say Cap. I would say. Stop it, I would say Cam Newton is an 85. I would say Cam Newton is an 85. If you said 87, I'd be like, all right. All right. on the Patriots. Take a tangent. Akeem Tlaib, Mr. Snatch your chain. Or adapt. Evolve and adapt. The Get Your Chain Satch, episode 65. The episode repeat literally the week before hung up on his friend Nick and then came on the air and said, you can call in, but you better not fucking suck. Thus, set a standard. 
of like us not having shitty phone callers. Turn down so Talib turned down a contract from the Patriots. He's a Super Bowl winner, five time Pro Bowler, one of the best DBs in Kansas history. He is officially retired. So do you got a take or tangent on the keep Talib's career? Um one of the dopest DBs ever. I will always remember that Mark Mangino, Kansas team that was really good and won the Orange Bowl. And uh, people always forget it. Jake Reesing was a – they had a decent offense for once in the Big 12. And Akeem Tlaib was just a great DB, and I was like, who the hell is this guy? And then more and more testing came up. His tape came up, and he just looked better and better the more he played. I, and he was still great in Tampa Bay, even though he was a headache. And I'm glad that he went on to become an elite corner who wasn't afraid – to expose Michael Crabtree for the B level receiver that he always was, even Stop. though you thought he was honestly, I don't want to call Michael Crabtree a bust, but he wasn't anything special either. Stop. That he was a hurt. slow wide receiver who was a good number two at best. Stop, He's not baby. even better than Brandon Lloyd. Fight me. He wasn't better than Brandon Lloyd. That's Go look up Brandon Lloyd. That's disrespectful. Is he? Could you do me a favor and Anyways. Uh, look up Brandon Lloyd stats? I just Why remember I just remember a keep it was a keep to leave, Pac Man Jones, and the third one was what? Michael Jenkins? The fact that you were was it Mike Jenkins out of South Florida? Yeah. Mike Jenkins out that of was South such Florida. A trash first round for DBs. Those were those were the He was the twentieth overall corners. pick. Was Revis in that class too? I don't think Revis was for You know what? Hey Eric, could you Google that? What, what? <laughs> I think Revis was might have been in that class too. Or he might have been around the same time. But yeah, I, I I just remember that about him. And as you mentioned, is he go the, ahead read off uh, Brandon, beef. Brandon Lloyd stats? Yeah, Brandon Lloyd Pro went forward. out as a thousand yard receiver. Brandon Lloyd was nice, but Had he was also hands. trash. No, he was not. He was also trash. No, he was now. not. He was trash for a bit. Yeah, you're lying. I mean, yeah, for the Niners for a little bit. He had that one game Third where round he tore pick. the fucking Raiders. I don't know how to read stats, it's numbers, and oh, just numbers. Look up his, <laughs> it's a spreadsheet. at the bottom. <laughs> Come on, marketing major, it's a spreadsheet. Don't wow! Don't bully our intern on the air. The yards, so um, YDS career yards. Yeah, yeah. So what do we want to know? Yards. All to, yeah, his all time yards. You got it. It's a. It's probably going to be like the biggest number. Uh, his best season, he had fourteen forty eight. I'm pretty sure Crabtree never had fourteen hundred receiving yards in the season. So you lost already right there. So yeah, follow that last line. It shows receptions and career receiving yards. Oh, look at that. It's that number right there. Down there. Oh, 15. Oh, 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 oh. Guard to catch. And then, that's 15 yards to catch. With Leon Hall. What, 34 touchdowns? I can't see that. No, no, this 36. is... Uh, 36 yeah. receiving touchdowns. And then how many yards know, is that um, right there? 5,989. Cool. Now Google Michael Crabtree. Same website. Do you want me to write that? Crabtree only had two thousand yard receiving years. Huh? So so you only had two? And he it was like and a how many did Lloyd have? Three? It's six almost. Lloyd had six thousand yard receiving? No, he had six career six thousand career receiving yards. And he had he had one. He really only had one year over a thousand yards. Yes, sir. Four, they're both trash. But it was four, <laughs> it was fourteen forty eight. Damn, they are both trash, Loki. Oh, it was DCR. It was DCR. Tommy Rogers, Tlaib, and that was a nice rookie. And year. Mike Jenkins. That was a nice year for DBs. Revis was two thousand seven. That was two thousand eight. Okay, scroll up. So I wasn't that far off. Thank you, scroll Eric. Up to the top. Thank you, Izzy. And I'll type in uh, yeah, Mike Crabtree. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Crabtree. He had 2,000 yard receiving years. Yeah, but he was like 1,074. Like his Brandon Jacobs, Brandon uh, uh, Lloyd's best season, he was like the, one of the top three receivers in the NFL. Stop. And receiving. No, seriously. He yeah, was 14, and receiving, but he wasn't that good. Go ahead and read that. Okay, he had more receiving yards. <laughs> okay, I take back what I said. Um. But yeah, even still, he had a better. He had his best season was better than uh, Crabtree's. Homer best Simpson season. backing into a shrub meme. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. Moonwalking that one. 
right, next one. This one's not on here, but I'm gonna go with it. The, so what you're saying the is Las that Vegas Raiders Drake and traded away third round pick Lynn Bowden. I don't want to talk about this to the Miami Dolphins. I don't want to go there for a draft pick. But they traded Raekwon McKillen first. And pretty much just gave back a fourth round pick, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Or they got much. a fourth round pick back. And when they actually could have drafted Raekwon McQuillan when he first came out a couple so, of years ago. So But they didn't. Yeah. Give or take or a tangent on that. The Raiders are dumb. Stop drafting developmental players if you're not gonna fucking develop them. Period. Thank, thank you. You keep st- taking these high ceiling players. That he's not a running back that either. That aren't at like a natural fit in the league, which is fine. But if you're going to do that, you got to do whatever it takes to help those men succeed. You can't just fucking take them and be like, oh, this guy doesn't have a position. We don't have a fit for him in our offense. You knew that when you fucking drafted him. Why did you draft him? Why did you draft him? He's a legit receiver, but because but he led the SEC saying, in though. rushing, they thought he could be a running back. And I'm like, how? They had him playing quarterback, too. They had him playing... Like they had him playing running back, and he's stuff. a fucking receiver, clearly. And you have, like, four running backs. But that's backs. the thing. That's the thing. They drafted you needed him, a receiver. They drafted him off the premise that he could do the, all of that, but they weren't willing to let him do all of that. They didn't want to take those touches away from other players, but why the fuck would you take him? He's if better than Hunter Renfro. I'm sorry. Hunter Renfro is not that special. He didn't even average 10 yards to catch. Like, he's a slow-ass receiver who's kind of quick, and he can run about three, four routes. And last one, now we're having teams talking about the National Anthem. Some teams, like the Houston Texans today, have said they're going to just stay in the locker room for the Anthem. Other teams, you know, are letting their players either stand or take a knee or whatever they want. How are you going to let me stand? (laughs) Whatever. They're letting the players do whatever they want. Now... To start this game, both teams had a moment of unity after the national anthem, in which case the fans actually booed that moment of unity. So do you got to take our tangent on that, Kenny? America, because we're fucking stupid. <laughs> Kansas City. Shout yes. out to y'all with the black yeah, quarterback. One, one of the stadiums that actually has fans in there and way to let us down. You know, thank you. First night with Goodell in the house. They're bags. And y'all boo like. And there are people not wearing masks. And I'm really interested to see because today was the first day ever that all national sports, NHL, MLB, NBA, NFL, WNBA, WNBA all played on the same day. Tennis. So with that. Tennis plays all the fucking time. Let's with that, the NFL now has like even more competition than whatever they have no, before. They no, they don't. No, they, they have don't. more competition than they've no, had they before. Don't. The how, NBA how many people? Final, are, the NBA is were, almost over. Yeah, but how many people were tuning into the football game than the Lakers game tonight? Yeah, and exactly. the NBA ratings are really down. If from I got all a the fantasy Black team, Matters. I care more about football. The NBA ratings are down like forty percent. Part of that is all the early ass games, but and Giannis some getting of hurt. It, some of it is also. No, they're down for the playoffs. They're I know, but like restart. Giannis getting hurt didn't help the whole. He just got hurt like two games ago. Yeah, but to, had he played and they then lost while he played, that would hog up more of the story. Anyways, the, the point that I'm just saying is there's a lot more attention for sports eyeball. There's a lot more people trying to get those yeah. sports eyeballs. You're not just going to get the casual dude just flipping on a game anymore if there's five other sports going on and that person likes another sport more than football. So, we'll see how it works out. With that, let's get to the rants. We'll throw it to you first, Izzy. Anything you want to say to the people? Leave them with. Um, go stream Swimming by Mac Miller. It was his two-year anniversary death. Rest in peace on Monday. We t- talked about it a little bit and um, barely a tangent, but that is my man's right there. Um, yeah, I wish he was still here, but his music yeah, will suffice for now. But... Hey, shout out to Live Nation. Still hasn't shipped my girl her Mac Miller sweater from January. Damn. She ordered one in January. She still hasn't got it. That's the tax write-off next year, bro. You ain't getting that. <laughs> Eric? Um, so, kind of weird, like, you know, moving and everything. My wife and I were finally talking about getting a dog. You know, it's kind of cool. Wow. I don't understand what it is when you're trying to adopt a dog that needs needs 
that has a, a needing a home and everything that you have to apply for all these and they things. Have to do a home visit, yeah, and yeah. all this stuff. And then if you want to buy a like just like a pure bread, just fork up the money. And you-